Hello there. Welcome back to Jenny Designs with Paper. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I have a Shop Your Stash Christmas card video for you today. All of the products I'm using have been in my stamp stash for more than a year. So get comfy and let's get crafty. Okay, I have pulled together a pile of things to use. I have a white card base and this colored image is a digital stamp. It's a tiddly ink stamp and I colored it a couple weeks ago for crime and coloring. I have pulled out a honeybee leaf die. I'm going to use that to make some seaweed. And I have pulled out some alleyway fish stamps. The only Christmas themed stamps I'm going to be using are for the sentiment and a little bit of the decoration. I also have some green cardstock and a piece of white scrap cardstock to stamp some more fish on. I am going to put this white cardstock into my Misty stamp positioner and hold it down with my magnet. I got that new bar magnet thing. That sucker's strong, man. It's, it's kind of hard to pick up off the Misty. <laughs> but anyway, I am going to select a few other fish. I don't know how many I need. I don't know how many I'll have space for. Um, so I am going to stamp more than I think I need and hope I have enough. I can always come back later and add more, I suppose. But I'm going to stamp four or five separate fish and then we'll figure out what to, what to do next. I feel like I'm talking 100 miles an hour, so I'm sorry if I sound like I'm talking 100 miles an hour. It's been kind of a day here at my house, like run, 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 and no stop. So, all right, we're just going to move on. <laughs> I have the stamps all ready to be inked up, and I will ink them up with Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink because it is an alcohol marker safe ink, and I am going to be coloring these fish with my Copic markers. The one thing that I think I wish I had done differently is picked a different color palette. So I colored all of the fish except the little one in shades of blue and purple. And they kind of sort of blend when I get done at the end, but it works. I figured out ways to make them stand out. So this top fish, this kind of polka dotty fish, I'm coloring him, 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 her, it, they, whatever, <laughs> in shades of red and blue. I used three shades of red, three shades of blue, and I'm just kind of speeding through this coloring here because the coloring isn't really the main part of the card today. Although right here I am giving you a little pointer. Um, I'm using the B9s and there's a huge gap between a couple of the colors. So I just did that tip to tip method where you take your light color and rub it on the dark color and then it blends and it looks perfect. Like there's no gap in the colors at all. Um, this little tiny fish, I am coloring with some YRs, kind of making him look like a little bit of a goldfish. The bottom fish, I'm using some BG, the BG7s, I think. Um, I like this color combination. It's kind of a very muted, um, peacocky green color. I, it's one of my favorite color combinations. It is also one where there is a broad jump in color from the, um, the BG90 to the BG94. So I'm using that tip to tip method there as well. And then this other little fish, I colored in some V's and I would use the V9s. And it feels like when you first look at it, that there's going to be a huge jump, especially based on the color of the lids, but there's not, it's not as big as you would think. Um, I did have a little bit of a marker bloop and I had to stop and clean that up. Some of my markers that I recently filled, I got kind of um, carried away with. <laughs> and some of them are still kind of burping up a little extra ink. <laughs> I do keep some a tissue on hand. So in order to make these fish look Christmassy, I am going to stamp some Santa hats. Now, this is the reason why that little purple fish does not work. Um, the hats are all flowing one direction, and then that purple fish is swimming another direction. And I tried to make it work. I wanted to make it work. And it just was not, it looked weird. We're just going to go there. It looked weird. <laughs> I am coloring these hats with a three color um, red. This is the, the R89, the R47, and the R35. One of my favorite and go-to red color combinations. I am filling in the white parts with a W1 and a W3. Just to make it look, just to add the shadow parts to the white. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut this out. I am not going to make you watch that because it took me a hot minute. So 
through the magic of video editing and time lapse and all that stuff, everything is cut out and I have gone around the edges of everything with a black marker. I even cut out the gal that was already stamped and colored and her little fish friend. So two of these leaves from the honeybee stamp, um, what's it called? Um, oh, here's the package. What's it called? Um, Lovely Layers Greenery Die Set, I think will make kind of perfect um, seaweed. They're a little taller than I need them to be, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of selective um, cutting. But I'm just going to use this tall one and this little shorter one, and I'm going to cut them both out of three different colors of cardstock, uh, light, medium, and dark green. These are from my scrap pile. Not a clue what color they are. They just kind of went with it. So once I have those all three cut out, you can see I've got um, three of each die cut. So now I'm going to work on my card my card panel. Um, I have taken this piece of five and a half by eight and a half inch cardstock, and I have already scored it off camera. And now I'm using this two inch post-it tape to mask off the back side of the card. And I've just got everything adhered down to this. This is my Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station. And I'm going to do some ink blending. And I have some of my old Stampin' Up! ink pads and a blending brush. I'm going to go ahead and I've cleaned out that blue blending brush. And I'm going to um, try and ink blend this. Now, these are old ink pads. And I have not re-inked them in a while. And they're just not blending right. So I put them away and I pulled out my Distress Oxide inks, which let's, let's be honest, I should have gone there first anyway, because they just blend so nice. And because I'm trying to blend the entire background, I really should just have started here. I don't have the exact same colors I was using with my other inks. Um, and I only have one brush that I have dedicated to Oxide inks. Um, I don't know why I even use the brush. I've got a whole drawer full of the foam blender tools. I'm not sure why I even use the brush. I just have kind of lost my mind. Okay, once I have one layer of that ink down, I pulled out this Ocean Waves stencil. This is an old, old Simon Says Stamp stencil. Um, I've had it in my stash. It's probably one of the first stencils I bought. And now I have this beautiful underwater background. So my thought process here with this card was that I have friends who live in warm climates when it's Christmas here in the United States. And so while traditionally for me, um, even when I was a kid, I lived in Nevada and I still associated Christmas with cold things, right? I mean, I lived in Las Vegas and I still associated snow and, and stuff with Christmas time, which is kind of funny. But anyway, so here's this fish with the hat that looks like it's flowing backwards. And I just, it made the fish look like he was swimming backwards. And I just, I don't know if I could handle that. Anyway, back to my little decision-making process here. When I got done coloring this girl on my crime and coloring video a couple weeks ago, I thought how fun it would be to turn this into a Christmas card for a warm climate um, holiday, right? So I do have friends that live, I have friends that live in Arizona, I have friends that live in Southern Utah and Southern Nevada, I have friends that live in, in Florida. So I have lots of friends who live in climates that are more traditionally warm at Christmas time. So there was where the inspiration came from. And I'm gonna go, just going to go ahead and start assembling this card now. I have glued her down flat with my Tombow glue, and I am adhering my leafy die cuts. You can see that off screen I kind of added a little bit of ink blending to them to kind of give them some, some shadowing and just a little bit of texture um, on the front piece of seaweed or grass or whatever you want to call it. I did pop that up with some little foam squares, which I super sped through because, oh my gosh, it's tedious to watch that, isn't it? Especially when they're these little tiny pieces. <laughs> you don't want to watch that in real time speed. Heck, I didn't want to do it in real time speed. Let's be honest. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm going to pop up these couple of pieces of seaweed or, or seagrass so that I can kind of sort of slide the fish in between them. So here's the fish that was actually on the paper that was part of the digital image. And this digital stamp is a Tiddly Ink stamp. And she is one of my favorites. I just love that wild flowy hair. And I had to color her a redhead. I don't know why. I just had to color her a redhead. But now I am adhering these Santa hats on all of my fish. And I'm just trying to figure out where to place them. And I am going to place this fish right over 
her hair so that it looks like the fish is swimming in front of her. It just kind of gives that forefront background um, viewpoint to the card. Um, I've got the little purple and red fish. And this is kind of when I thought maybe I should have colored the fish in more tropical yellows and pinks so that it would pop off that background a little bit more. But I decided it's all good. It, with the red hats, they look fine. I did pop this little fish up. He's a little bit of a flat puffer fish. I did pop him up on foam tape and also put him kind of in front of our little swimmer girl. And then I put this little tiny goldfish flat down with Tombow Mono Glue. And I didn't know where to put it. I did know I wanted that top left corner left alone for my sentiment. So I just stuck him down there at the bottom. I am going to trim off those pieces of seaweed or seagrass, whatever you want to call it, with some scissors before I fold this card base in half. And then I just am on to my sentiment. So it's turning out to be a not difficult card. I will admit that in my head, it was different than, than, it came, than the way it came out. But anyway, I still like it. So I have this stamp set from My Favorite Things. This is an old one, and it is so old, I don't even know the name of it. And I am going to use the word Christmas and ink that up with this VersaClaire um, Nocturne Black ink. And it's a nice, pretty um, font, um, cursive kind of font. And then I'm taking this Avery L. Snowman stamp set, and it has the phrase Warm Wishes. And many, many moons ago, I cut that stamp set in half so that I could have Warm and Wishes separately. And I'm going to put the Warm on top and the Wishes on the bottom. And then I have a sentiment that says Warm Christmas Wishes for my friends who live in warmer climates. So I thought I was really clever with this. You're probably rolling your eyes going, well, duh. But I thought I was really clever um, when it came when this came to mind. I don't know. I just thought I was smart. <laughs> I am going to go ahead and trim this sentiment down into a little block. Um, I contemplated layering it with some green cardstock or some blue cardstock or even something um, glittery or shiny. But ultimately, I decided to leave it as is because it does take up a substantial part of that top left-hand corner. In fact, it's going over her hair again, which is okay. It's totally okay. I am going to adhere this with my ATG gun, and I have forgotten to zoom back out with my camera, so you're getting lots of weird angles. I apologize for that. I'm going to use my reverse, camp, reverse clamp tweezers to hold that into place. And then I decided to jazz it up just a bit. So I pulled out my, there's a Wink of Stella glitter pen and I'm adding a little bit of glitter to her um, snorkeling, her goggles, there's the right word. I'm adding some glitter to the Santa foam hats. And then I brought out my Jelly Roll pens. Now, in a normal world, I put the black part of the eye down before the white, but for whatever reason today, I just put the whites of their eyes down. I don't know, I don't know. I added a little bit of highlight to that seaweed. And then I also wanted to do some bubbles up here in the top right hand corner and it got away from me. So <laughs> eventually it looked like a bubble trail, but for a minute it was just ridiculous. <laughs> um, once I got the, the whites of the eyes were dry, I did pull out my black jelly roll pen. This is a glaze pen and I'm going to put the blacks of their eyes back in on top of the whites of their eyes. So they do look a little bit, um, well, they look like fish. <laughs> But here is the finished card. I'm going to zoom in for you just a little bit. I hope you enjoyed watching this card come to fruition. And this is a perfect way to shop your stash and use non-Christmas things for Christmas. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you liked the video today. Um, I have a couple of other videos here I think you might like, as well as a subscribe button. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you did so. Do me a favor. Leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up and have a really great day.